Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay y'all, so Krishan was on live for a long time and she clarified that her and Blueface are not messing with each other. She said all she wants is some help from him and for him to be a father to his child. She also says that it seems like Blueface is putting a lot of pressure on her for them to kind of be back together. But at the same time, she feels like he's only doing it because he can see that she's moving on and she actually is starting to like K Suave. Anyway, here are a few clips from Krishan's live. Me and Blueface just lost sleeping together. What the tweets was about? What was the tweets about? Oh yeah, he tweeted. Uh, what the fuck he said? He said, "Oh, I'm just a nice guy." I'm just like, bitch. What the fuck you mean? You're just a nice guy. I'm just a, a nice BM. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, you sit up all day talking about and playing with my son like it's not your kid either. So you don't pay child support. You don't pay a bill. We never bought the motherfucking baby to wear diapers. I'm the nice, I'm the nice BM. You're not the nice guy. You're the bitter, bitch ass baby father. And then I be thinking he's trying to trick me for a time. Not like that, but like, he can tell when I like somebody. Like when I get to liking somebody, he get to try to a fake apply pressure. And I be like, where did this fucking energy come from? Because nigga, I swear to God, nigga, Y'all hear me, y'all? Like, where the fuck does this energy come from? Because you were sending big energy the other way. And then me, you know me, I'm always, like, not like that, but I love real fucking hard. So it's like, I can't just be acting like, oh. Like, what? Be mad as shit, y'all. Because I'm mad as shit that I'm somebody baiting up for real. It's one thing when it's like, it's going well, and you can work through some shit. It's another thing when it's hella confusion. It's like, the toxicity is crazy. The level of investment of feelings is ridiculous. Like, and I, then I try to learn how to like, just stay away. It's just not gonna work because, what, I have a son. It's like, it's like what? <laughs> You know how some people you just have to stay away and it it's for the best. Cool. We can't even have that. We don't even that's not even an option. <laughs> so I guess like we're learning how to grow through that shit to just I don't know. What the fuck? And I don't know why my business is so interesting to y'all. You said, well, you said he don't do nothing for your kid, so it should be easy to stay away from him. Let me address that question. Because why everybody, I see that a lot. And that should be getting on my nerves. So I'm going to address this question. One thing about me, you have to have like, hard posture to really not be on nobody's side for me. And I personally feel like the best option is trying to work it out. Like, life is too short. It should be too hard. Like, people fuck up, but look, don't make another, like, it just, and then I have a lot of faith in people, right? Like, shit will come around. You, you will come around, hopefully. Not, then yeah, there is there is another option where there's no there's no beating, it's just Krishan. I mean, it's it's like that right now, but you can be pulling up. Let's see it again. So I'm just like, okay, we gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Being in his presence, that's good enough. That's more than I could buy the pamper. Like physically being in the presence, like maybe that's a start. I don't know where people start at, so I can't judge. Like, oh, he he should do this and do that. I don't know. I don't even think he knows. So 
I'm not really blaming nobody, but the situation. Okay, the situation is it's a set sensitive topic for both of us. It's very deep. It's it's a little spiritual, and it's it just what it was. So it's just like if it's all of that with bad. I don't know. I, it's just all. It's just bad gonna come out of it, and I don't know how you get through shit like that. Like, so I don't know. That's why I don't know. Like that question. But you say he don't do nothing for your kid. Should it be easy to stay away from him? It is. Can I be honest? I only see blue probably like once a month, twice a month. I mean, recently, a nigga been trying to <clears throat> press up, but I feel like it's probably because that once a month, twice a month, it's kind of like, it's getting, it's getting weird, like, not like once a month, but it's like once every two weeks, I don't know, like, he just, he come around like every 14 days, like, or 15, like, it's 20, it feel like a month, like, sometimes it feel like a month, like, my baby only two months, so, he saw my baby probably like, four to five times this month, realistically. No, like, maybe all together, I don't know. It's not that much, like, it's, it's very rare how much he goes up for the kids, so it's like, and that's, and I, cause I try to stay away, cause I don't feel supported and then shit like that, so. But then I'm starting to learn, like, okay, like, I don't know, Some it's something that, Sometimes people can't help certain things. Like some people just don't know no better. So I don't know. I don't know if they don't know no better or what. All long as I know is I love him. He's with me forever. My baby is forever, okay? He's with me. It's forever. So But I think it's different with a woman. I don't know why it don't I think it's because it's the mom. Like do you feel like Guys don't have to be with their kid. Like, it's not, you know what I'm talking about? Because I was, I don't know. Because, like, two of y'all had her, but it's up to one person to really take care of her. That's how it looks. That's how it feels. I'll be like, and depending on the conversation, like, if we wasn't beefing, maybe it would be just because <coughs> we just cause we beefing. It's just me. So I'm just like, but it's not like a weird beef, like, I'm trying to keep you away from your son or who am. It's like, we really be, he'll say crazy shit, like, that's not my son, that's not, my, like, he'll play, like, that's his son. <laughs> you put that. Yo. I'm trying to do this co-parenting shit. It's just, it doesn't work with, I don't know. Cause now I'm just trying to go with the punches. Like, cause at first, you know, Junior was denied out the wound, okay? Just to be fun, all kicks and coos. It's too much though. That should get real. So, so much going on, bro. Yesterday was crazy. Like, so one of the arguments I had yesterday with Blueface was, what did I argue? What did I argue? What did he argue about? We argued about. All right, so he was trying to take a picture with my son or video, or whatever, and I was just like, nah, the fuck. He's like, why? Nah, and I was just like, what you mean, why? Isn't it not your son? And you still talking the world? It's not your son. And didn't you post the last time you ever posted my son was when you posted my son. Twitter. So we really just was going back and forth about that dumb ass shit. And that shit, I don't even know. Hey, go to it. How is it my fault? I personally hope Krishan doesn't fall into his trap because it's clear he feels some type of way that she's moving on and, and she's actually starting to like someone else. He recently got engaged to Jaden. 
And even though him and Jaden recently deleted their engagement photos and videos, regardless, he still gave Jaden a ring. I think it's crazy that he proposed to Jaden, but he's still trying to mess up anything that Krishan might have going for herself when it comes to dating anyone new. Like, why can't she move on like you moved on? Make it better. Or, or I don't know. This nigga really just be trying to insult my intelligence. Like, I feel the way I feel. You, you can't, like, you can't stop that. How about you just, how about we just try to work through it or whatever, whatever, whatever. You want to drive? Because I'm going to pop my shit on live. I see all this shit I'm tagging, okay? I'm chilling with my BDO Thanksgiving. Why? Because he got a son. The fuck? A son he just, he just starting to come around to, so let's just be thankful for that. Then I don't even know now because it's like, he be trying to play this role like, he trying to fuck with me or something. I'm like, are we fuck? What? 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 He be trying to fake fuck with me, and I be like, if you want to fake fuck with me, this ain't going to work. You know why? Because the deal was, if you serious, let's stop cheating. Let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop doing all that. Nigga, you don't want to stop anything you're doing? Cool. Leave me the fuck alone so I can do what I need to do. Bro, be myself. Be with new people like like how you're doing like you're with new people you're experimenting things you're because i was like what happened hey, what did he say because thank you i'm like all right so what's up with thanksgiving we went he's like oh, i'm finna come over there i said all right cool then he like he kept saying i'm finna come over there so i was like you want me to come get you and then he like i said i'm ready just ready to come get you then i said you take what you want like fuck it i'm ready to just come like what's up come the fuck come eat with your son Take pictures and eat food. Okay, you just want us to be appreciative of your presence. But nigga, that's not even. That's not even. That's not even a problem. The problem is that's an everyday. Having a kid is an everyday lifestyle, and then you pick and choose when you want to disrespect or respect it, and then he not he can't even talk. Like, the baby can't even talk. You disrespected yo before you can talk. And then I know I said I let it go. About I'm posting a picture of my son's penis. I just sometimes can't see past it. He trying to say I didn't post his penis. I pursed the hernia. What the fuck? The hernia is not. The hernia is. It was on his penis. It's, it's still penis. Like he's slow as shit. And I was just like, in my slowest fuck just for like giving the benefit of doubt, like, oh maybe you just When you had it like he took two months to get out of his feelings. Like he was in his, he was in his feelings for two months straight. About the name, about niggas, about just about shit, okay? So we just real big beefing. But while we beefing, he's just neglecting our whole kid, and then he's just playing so much. So I just be like, I didn't know what to do for him. You saw what I did. I went live crying like a little bitch. Like, but then I got up on my ass and got my shit right. Like I got everything going on. And I'm cool. He leave. He get out the house. He get in my car. All right. He he just with his son and shit. And then we having a good old time. It's it's a vibe all the time. So then, boom. He was tripping about my nails and shit, like, whatever. So I'm just like, let's not even make that a thing for real. Like, it's not even that serious for real. Like, like, whatever, I'm, let's just mind each other's business and fuck with our kid. But if you don't want to mind each other's business, let's try to fake act like we real, like, Ray. What? You want to drop everything for everybody and you and I drop everything for everybody? Like, what, like, what, what we doing? Okay, then. Back the fuck up, then. So then he tweeted, I'm just a nice guy right next to me. So I tweeted, I'm looking at him like, oh, you think you're funny? I'm the nice BM because the fuck I could have played this petty and all that. I just really care about my son 
having his father in his life. So, and it, it, the right way though. Don't be playing with me saying, oh, you're not my BM, that ain't my son. And then try to come around, I want to see my son. Where you at? First of all, you want some pussy? Let's start there. So that's why I don't even, I be like, nah, nah, like leave me alone, leave me alone type shit. He, he try to make me, basically, he put some more pressure up like, all right, this bitch is like, she really done with me, like, whatever. Then that car was coming from the days, whatever, like just applying pressure. I ain't seen pressure like this since when we first started fucking with each other. So I just was like, okay, well, where did this come from? Sorry. And then like, yeah, you know how when you've been with somebody, you never want to really start over? Like, I don't like starting over. I don't like having to go through the motions to have somebody learn me and I got to learn them and is it really like when we established with some shit like we established so if I gotta do all that over again like come on my nigga so that's why I just be like alright so I just started doing me for real and I don't, I don't know out of nowhere he just started coming around but it was just like the wait was so long like what the fuck you think this is then it just don't make sense for her. Like, I could just pop my shit. I want to say so much. I'm just like, I can't say that. I know I could say that, but I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't feel like re-watching this and be like, why did I say all that? Because I was mad. So, it's none of y'all business, but what I am finna tell y'all, yo. Why you got the You said why you got the boy? First of all, that's my BD, bro. You don't even know how I end up right there. Like we was drunk, we was chilling, it was a vibe. For real, like me and Suave, we're not boyfriend girlfriends yet. We ain't we ain't f yet. We ain't. We ain't dibble or dabble yet for real. It's just like the beginning stage when you talk and still figuring out. So while I'm still trying to figure some shit out with this nigga. I don't blue just be just on blue, so but it wasn't nothing too serious. Like what the fuck? Like I don't give a fuck what you got going on. I just know like if you ain't serious, okay you what's the point of being serious? And then two, we grown, my nigga. But I ain't gonna hold you. Suave is a good friend. He like, like he's best friend to daddy to he cool as shit. So everybody that's y'all like forcing a narrative that's not really happening. Like we're not boyfriend or girlfriend. We're like. Oh, I like you. You might be a good old thing. It's like that. Like, we chilling. And then my me and my BD, well, we are like, let me tell you what we're with, with me and him like. We're like. I don't know. We're in our own world. It got nothing to do with anybody around us, bro. Like, first of all. It just keep changing. First, I thought we wasn't cool at all. And then he was like, fuck the baby. All right, cool. I said, fuck the baby. Fuck you, then. All right, fuck blue face. I had to find a new bag. God, shorty, cut up, cut up, cut up. Well, I'm cutting the fuck up. Getting over this nigga. Bro. He called from no caller ID. He pulls up. Like, he, he really, he really just be, he a nigga for real. Like, I don't know. He having stages of... 
the way he looked, I don't fucking know. So, when he hurt, he do some ill shit. Then he have to come back around. He got to come around for me, like, and then he'd be expecting a bitch to be waiting. And then by the time he looked up, I'm already dragging. So then, I don't really know, bro. Because at the end of the day, that's my baby father. So I think we have to figure out some of that's the main reason why I'm indulging right now. Like, I really feel like if I didn't have a kid and we broke up and he did what he just did and I had no kid, it was just, back the fuck up, <laughs> I have no kid. I think I would have moved on already. I think. I know I would have moved on already. I probably had a new, a new boyfriend. And then, because the kid's giving it a reason to, like, deal with a person. But that's the thing about it. We, we like, when we used to break up, we used to, like, do this shit without the kid. So, it was just, like, now that I'm at, in this, like, stage of mine, and then, like, the way I really did let a nigga go, like, I ain't going to pass. You're not over a nigga. You don't regret nothing. You don't regret no tattoo. You know, you don't regret. I don't regret my child. I'm just saying, like, I regret that it got that deep because that's, it's just, what the fuck? Because we have conversations and one thing will go in his ear and out the other. And then we'll say these things. I'm like, yo, this is fucking wicked. I don't even want to deal with, like, and I know, obviously, you don't want to deal with me, so what the fuck is the turmoil and the toxicity? That should be blowing the fuck out of me. And then it's like a weird narrative about, I don't know, the new nigga I'm talking to. We're really just legit friends before anything else, so it's like, and we still learn each other. So, like, so it gets serious, then, yeah, hold me court. Hold court. Tell me this, I don't know. I don't know. We, res we, we respect each other's space and all that. Like, we can tell, like, we jar clingy and shit, but no. He's a grown man. I'm a grown woman with a kid. Like, fuck. What do you think this is? A fucking fairy world? It's pretty clear Blueface likes to push a specific narrative when it comes to what he posts on the internet, but I just think it's weird to publicly claim that it's not your baby. But then behind the scenes, you're saying you miss your son because you haven't seen him in a while. I'm just happy that Krishan could clearly see that he is purposely trying to throw a wrench in any dating situations that she has going for herself. Because she said it herself, she's single, so maybe she's dating multiple people. But she most likely needs to set boundaries with Blueface. But that's it. That's why I was just trying to elaborate because y'all got all the little shits in the frenzies. I'm like, oh, Thanksgiving with your baby daddy. Oh, I thought that wasn't his son. I said, oh, God, right? That's why you try to play and lie and catch the nigga. I don't know why he was giving the nigga. Then we generally have like a, like a bond for real. Like, so it just be like weird how when it could be positive, niggas be still trying to drag me fucking weird like boy you know this is your son the fuck stop playing with me stop playing with your son stop playing with yourself you irritating as fuck so that's how i be like oh what the fuck i don't know it's just like how i got low-key respect what he what he gotta do right now he started some shit that he got to finish. Okay. Is it worth finishing what you started? Or fixing what you started? Because. There's a cop on your right too. I'm finna. <laughs> <laughs> we be carried on this fuck. On the right side. What? Oh fuck no. And I don't got my butt. Say if you that type of bitch that know you're doing everything by yourself. As soon as the day. The time that you wake up. The time that you. And he go to. You're doing it all by yourself yeah 
have your babysitters. Yeah, you have. I'm talking about the other shit. Because who pays for the babysitter? Who, who, like, you know what I'm saying? It's everything behind it. Like, so I, I just didn't appreciate the tweet. Like, what are you tweeting? So I tweeted, I'm just a nice ass PM. I'm not bitter. The fuck? What type of child? What the? I ain't even supporting a nigga. I ain't even claim the nigga. I'm all, you the nice guy. How the fuck is you the nice guy, bitch? Like, I low-key wanted to fight. Bro, we was <laughs> we was on it up. We was cool. We was fighting. We was cool. We was fighting. He tried to run away. I pulled off. Like, what are you doing? What are you trying to get? Like, he's just crazy. Like, he want me to, like, hear him out and see him. Yes, I hear you. I see you. But do you not know? This is your kid, too. You have to hear and see him. Fuck me. Fuck you. Like, we be, like, going for tit for tat. And I be like, I see if it was just me just going for tit for tat. But it's like, it's really you leading that. <laughs> I fucking hate that. I don't know how it happened. But anyway, yo. If you got respect what's, what's going on over there, because you're not going to, you're not going to like it. Because obviously, you you know I don't like what you're doing, so you want to have to respect what I'm going to do. Because like, what the fuck you think this is? <laughs> what the hell? I'm human as fuck, like, you know? Yeah, I hate cops, bro. No, I'm just saying, like, this shit not a joke, but I be irritated with the nigga, like, cause, all right, you know you came over here to see your son. Da 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 da. If someone go viral, you tweet, um, what do you tweet? Oh, I'm just a nice guy. No, bitch, I'm nice. You was at my house. The fuck? I'm nice. The fuck? What are you talking about? You just start saying, I don't know. I miss my son when I see him. You never said that before. You were two months in the game. Late. That nigga was born two months ago. I'm a nice guy, boy. I don't even got your bitch ass on child support. You was a bitch. You was not on child support. You don't support a goddamn thing. What the fuck? And I still let you see your son. What the fuck? You know how bitches be so cruel when they don't get a little whatever? But then, say if you, that type of bitch that know you're doing everything by yourself, as soon as the day, the time that you wake up, the time that you... And he go to, you're doing it all by yourself. Yeah, you have your babysitters. Yeah, you have, I'm talking about the other shit. Because who pays for the babysitter? Who, who, like, you know. Uh. I see the comments, I see the narratives, I see the tweets, I see how motherfuckers act in real life, and then act when they, like, what, what, what you think is, like, what is going on, why is it slow down, what the fuck, why is it, uh, I just don't know, I'm not with anybody, I'm single, but I do deal with people. It's like, I don't really want nothing. I just need support with the kid. That's it. He be trying to, to like, the other day. Not the other day. He trying to say, all right, let's catch a jet. I'm booking him. Ordering now. I'm like, all right, bet, 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 bet. I'm going through with him. I'm going through with it. And I'm like, why the f***? Like, I don't want to. Like, we could do togetherness for the kid. But, Blue, you know what, what type of time will we link up, right? So I'll be like. Let's not link up for real. Let's come up with a better plan. What? Okay. It's either all in or just not the fuck at all. Like, what the fuck? That confusion shit gonna get somebody locked the fuck up. Like, I'm a prime example of 
why it didn't work out because y'all so dozy y'all be wanting to know everything I'm like, I read y'all questions I'm like is that a real question I'm just I'm not in my feelings I'm just more like addressing everything that's going on like I don't be on Instagram like that I don't post like that Okay, I post on my story, but I don't post paid shit. So, like, say if I'm posted up somewhere, it's everywhere. I'd be like, what the fuck? And then it'd be like, all right, I wouldn't have said nothing because, all right, my sister, she posts what she posted, whatever. Only oh, it feels the same way when the tweet came about because I'm like, what was the point? This is a real life thing. What the what's the point of trying to go to Twitter for? That's why I be mad at shit like that. Like, did you want to smoke? What's up? Cause bang. So if we want the same thing, let me know. If we don't, my nigga, let me drag. And let and you just continue dragging. The crazy thing is, say if he is buried or not, da 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 da. He's just doing shit. Like y'all, y'all know just when a nigga just throwing shit because they bored. <laughs> He's just like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. You yeah, want me to say fuck it? <laughs> I'm just really just sitting here thinking because like, I'm a human. I'm 23 years old. I got a son. The correlations of his father is kind of like messy as fuck. So it's like, but as a person, as a genuine person, what do I want? Yeah, I would like for it to be in a perfect old world to be like, we want the same thing. But if we don't want the same thing, let's respect what it is. So like, as soon as you not have sexual relations, you're just a weirdo. <laughs> oh my God, man. Up in your face. And the bitch would be on top of the situation you try, like, to play with in her face. Like, she not analyzing the whole play. Like, some bitches will let you play in their face just to analyze you, clock you. And then, when it's time for them, you know, it is over with, my nigga. Game over, bitch. Like, boom. The living situation, all this other shit. He doing all this. I'm just look, spec it, like just look, cause I have a son. Like when I was pregnant and I wasn't, I was depressed about certain shit. And I used to ignore certain shit. So like when I was just like pregnant and like thinking too much of shit because I had to, cause the kid is finna come, nigga. A lot of shit was dead to me. Like, like so I start analyzing the situation so deeply. It was like I'm not finna <laughs> lose this. What? Okay, I'm gonna be homeless, but okay. In two weeks, I'm being a mansion. Fuck that. Ooh, man. Uh, uh, like, what? But only because I watch you play in my face. So, and I knew exactly what to do. Like, some motherfucker, you gotta be safe on who you play in. Don't just be thinking you playing in their face and they not picking up what you putting down. Like, what the fuck? You're stupid. What you playing in my face for? Cause like say if I play in this face, oh well, game over. Exactly. So you don't think if you play in my face, it's not game over? Like, I spoke for real because sometimes it be too strong. So I blow most of the smoke. This is gas. It went to the um, the marathon collective. They love they smoke love and that shit is gas. It got me fried. You said let him go. I did let him go. I let that nigga go. I let that nigga free. I really don't understand why Blueface cares about Krishan having K Suave on her nails when he's engaged to Jaden. 
Like, why would he expect Krishan not to move on if he's going to get married? Imagine how Jaden would feel while she's planning a wedding. Her future husband is worried about his other baby moms and who she's moving on with. And this is why I've been saying Jaden needs to set boundaries. Because it's clear over the years of her not setting boundaries, Blueface is like a stray dog that's never been on a leash. So I don't know who is creating this rumor that Krishan took K Suave off her nails, but it's clear that she didn't take them off. And that's why Blueface had something to say. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching.